Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Hello and welcome to another episode of Center Stage on CNBC TV 18 where we meet some inspiring entrepreneurs who have carved a niche out for themselves in their respective industries. And today we are meeting Sridhar Reddy of Control S Data Centers. In a country where technology is set to transform lives of business and people and acting as a tool that bridges the distance between hope and opportunity, Control S Data Centers, Asia's largest tier 4 data center founded by Sridhar Reddy, is playing a key role in enabling Fortune 500 companies through innovation, process automation and best of breed technologies. Control S data centers today powers world's leading banks, telecom, e-commerce, healthcare, media and other companies through its rich portfolio of services and has played a vital role in ensuring that their IT infrastructure and mission critical applications run around the clock seamlessly. Hi Sridhar, welcome to the show. Uh, I want to start off with some numbers because we love our numbers. Now the International Data Corporation says that the cloud market in India stood at 688 million in 2012. A figure that's supposed to in come up to 3.5 billion by 2016. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, roughly depending upon the scope of the uh, definition of the cloud, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, the numbers are anywhere between two to four billion. Right. And uh, but most important uh, uh, observation that I've made uh, during these years is uh, that uh, there is not a single company in India. Uh, whose CIO is not thinking about outsourcing cloud. Okay. Almost, I would say 98, 99% of the CIOs have taken a decision mm -hmm. to use cloud. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some going slow, cautious. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, legacy applications, obviously, they are already done the capex investments. Yeah, they are yeah. going slow. Probably during a refresh cycle, they may change. Uh -huh. uh, but the new age companies like e-commerce mm -hmm. or uh, the financial services companies, mm -hmm. the you know the payment gateways, etc., mm -hmm. have all gone the cloud route or uh, outsourcing to data centers and uh, infrastructure as service. The, the heart, the heart but and soul of, uh, of this kind of operation, of this kind of business, the cloud computing business, is technology. But we always say that technology is changing, there's constant innovation happening and it's becoming obsolete. Companies obviously face that when they want to go in for servers and things become obsolete after 4-5 years. But how is, how is, how is Control S, how is Control 4C sidestepping this uh, technology hurdle and maybe you know making the best out of change? Um, it's easy easy for us because uh, we are the people who are leading those changes. Okay. The technology so changes. you are initiating change there. Oh, yes. We have, we have uh, brought in a disruptive technology into the market, whether mm. it is uh, with uh, Tier 4, bringing Tier 4 to India or whether it is a disaster recovery. We change the whole dynamics of the disaster recovery, mm. how it is being delivered mm -hmm. from a traditional to a DR on demand. Yeah. And five years back are coming up with an innovative uh, mm -hmm. cloud. Uh, we have been the on the forefront of that change. Yeah. So it's uh, quite obvious that we have we have we, yeah. have, uh, we are ready for that excellence uh, mm -hmm. and the changes which are required. So we could see and adapt those changes very early on. So okay. we don't uh, be seriously be affected. By. Okay. You know, one of the things I want to talk to you about in in specifically in the India space, cloud is totally dependent on uh, on the internet. So you, you've got to be connected to be able to access the cloud to get your data from the cloud. But how does, in India there's so many hurdles, we, we're not as connected as we would like to be. Of course, the government's coming up with Initiative Digital India, etc., etc., which will, uh, which was working towards connecting people. But is that one of the biggest hurdles you're currently seeing for the growth of this industry in India? Surprisingly not. If you take the history of internet uh, uh, cost and related, relative connectivity, 98, 99 before mm. privatization. Just that's that's the time when the government of India privatized the internet services. Yeah. Uh, for example, take the case of Hyderabad. It used to have four Mbps of gateway <laughs> connectivity, <laughs> uh, and uh, each Mbps used to cost us one crore uh, per annum. Okay. Uh, just one Mbps internet connectivity, <laughs> right? So from there, 
uh, today um, it's probably one percent of the cost yeah and uh, every home in Hyderabad has uh, 10 Mbps connectivity are more 50 60 some of the yeah. latest plans of the broadband providers so I would say the tier 1 cities tier 2 cities of India are mm -hmm. very well covered mm -hmm. better infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, than that of the developed countries mm -hmm. when it comes to broadband mm -hmm. and uh, broadband penetration quality of service um, okay. uh, as well as the reach of fiber this is the fi actual fiber going to the homes yeah, right? yeah. it has come uh, yes, the rural segment is yet to be, a uh, lot more work has to be done, mm -hmm. but uh, the uh, enablers for the data centers, cloud computing, 80-90% of business sits in these two, two cities, uh, two category of cities, so okay. I would say we are ahead of the curve. Sridhar, you know now the mobile revolution, it's a mobile boom, it's a mobile revolution in this country and uh, we believe that Definitely, India is one of the largest growing uh, mobile smartphone markets uh, in the world. How is that going to be beneficial for cloud? How will because you know th there's there's talk that how how Indians Indian the Indian population might have just leapfrogged over personal computers and moved straight away to mobiles. How are you seeing that uh, affecting the cloud industry here? Uh, in a positive way. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, the Nobody has predicted that video content will overtake yeah. by a significant leaps and bounds yeah. compared to the 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 regular web content yeah, on exactly. the internet, right? Yeah. It all happened in the last six seven years. Yeah. The same thing is happening uh, use uh, with the use of mobile devices to mm -hmm. run serious business applications, mm -hmm. uh, not only the songs and uh, regular uh, yeah. home cloud. The serious business applications, a serious e-commerce business is shifting on the mobile. We will see in the next three to five years, every company coming up with a mobile application yeah. and all their consumers, employees mm -hmm. are going to do business with mm -hmm. that company using a mobile app uh, rather than the website yeah. on, on a computer. So and what it means to the industry mm -hmm. um, is that all this entire thing will definitely has to be run from a from a okay. data center on a, and on a private or a public cloud. And that is definitely uh, giving rise to a yeah. new industry you could say which is big data, big which is big data. data and analytics which will again obviously uh, tap into uh, the cloud, into these servers to help it boom. Absolutely. Okay Sridhar on that note we'll take a quick break. I'm in conversation with Sridhar Reddy but we'll be back after this very short break. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. A subsidiary of Control S Data Centers, Cloud4C is the world's first tier 4 public cloud. A Make in India offering, Cloud4C aims to catapult India to the farthest in the coming of the digital age. With the ability to withstand the worst of natural and man-made disasters, Cloud4C with a 4-copy built-in disaster recovery ensures that information remains intact without loss of data and thereby ensuring business continuity. Welcome back. You're watching Center Stage on CNBC TV 18, and I'm in conversation with Sridhar Reddy of Control S. Sridhar, tell me a little bit about Control S. Now, I believe you're Asia's largest tier 4 data center. How did that idea come about that I want to set up a tier 4 data center, and how did you go about with that? Uh, eight years ago, when I was thinking of uh, establishing data centers in India, mm -hmm. the thought came from the uh, point of view that uh, the data centers so far were only catering to internet based applications and they were so called uh, internet data centers existing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I felt that we need to do data centers for enterprises mm -hmm. so uh, and enterprise needs are different uh, while internet data centers can be served out of tier 2, 3, 3, three plus data centers but, uh, I felt that uh, we have to do a tier 4 data center mm -hmm. to serve the needs of uh, enterprises well large enterprises, Fortune 100 companies, banks, financial institutions, etc. The second aspect apart from tier 4 was uh, that uh, uh, we are targeting the uh, globally largest uh, companies, the Fortune 100 companies, the Fortune 100 of India. Mm -hmm. For example, 23 of India's top 100 uh, are already our customers and 9 out of global Fortune 100 are already our customers. So these customers require a large format data centers. They have huge data growth demands and when they 
a partner with a data center provider, they look for the next at least next 10 years can this data center has, has a scale to go ahead with them or not. Now that's that came up with that came up the thought of doing the largest data center uh, in Asia Pac uh, in, in tier four category, and uh, and we are sitting here. And the uh, Control 4C is also a tier four uh, cloud system that makes four copies uh, of, of of data. Uh, Firstly, tell me a little bit about that. And secondly, why? what's the significance of four copies? Why not three copies? Why not just two backups? People used to think in the beginning that, you know, we have one uh, well, live copy and we to put a tape uh, backup and we are good. Yeah, that's enough. I don't need anything more. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Those were the days. Um, but uh, soon they've realized that the biggest risk that uh, uh, today's enterprises face is uh, loss of data, IT data the biggest risk. So how do we create protection to it? Yes. So that's that's how the, the, the thoughts came up on uh, two copies mm -hmm. and uh, both of them are live um, so that they get uh, the enterprises get the higher availability. If something goes wrong, there's a second one immediately okay. available in the same data center. Right. Uh, but what happens in the event of a disaster, there's an earthquake, there's a flood in that area, yeah. um, then how do you protect came the disaster recovery. That's how the disaster recovery center, the third copy came about. Okay. But there was still a flaw that this is also not enough. Of course, the tape buckets are being continued. Yeah. So you need to have a fourth copy uh, of a taken a while ago mm -hmm. uh, to address that need. Okay. So that's a zero data loss. Mm -hmm. So what four copy cloud control force she does is a, a zero data loss infrastructure. It gives a high availability with synchronous replication copies. It does a disaster recovery and it does take care of the eventuality of something happening, data getting corrupted in these three systems with a fourth copy backup. You know, another concern that people always have when they're sharing their data. By way of sharing, I mean, as opposed to having a private server now, it's, it's public cloud for them. So people obviously are worried. My data, is, is it my data secure? Is it? So how are you uh, putting in these many checks at at, at Control 4C to ensure that uh, the client's data is uh, very much, very much, very highly secure. For those really concerned, uh, people concerned about public cloud, we, mm, we provide infrastructure service. Mm. It's a complete private environment mm. um, built for that particular customer. And um, it, they get this, the, the similar uh, environment that they have it in their own offices, mm. number one, to begin with. Okay. Plus, the added protection of uh, you know t the eight level security as well as uh, the, the there are security serious security policies mm -hmm. audits mm -hmm. and, and on a day to day basis which get conducted here. Mm -hmm. So that's at a basic level, which, okay. which any customer can <coughs> get it without making any uh, any extra investments. Okay. Uh, then you can take it to the next level. You can ensure that you know uh, by a little bit of more investments, you can make it completely encrypted. So data, anybody who looks at it is completely uh, is meaningless. Okay. And you can take it to the next level of uh, putting up log analyzers and uh, seam tools. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, there are highly specialized, sophisticated equipment which will ensure that every click. Um, performed uh, by the administrators is recorded mm -hmm. and kept and logged, right? So, so in terms of the security, um, what a commercial data center uh, can provide uh, is probably hundred times more than that of a, a in-house uh, setup. Let's talk about competition now. So, um, when Satya Nadella was in India last time that he visited, he spoke about is setting up Microsoft servers on in the country so that um, they can get in more business of the cloud. Amazon is a leading provider of the cloud. So how is this, uh, how are you looking at this competition that's coming in, that's already here? How is that affecting your business? What are your future plans to, you know, fight back with the competition or ensure that they don't eat into your market share? Uh, I don't, first of all, I don't see them as competition. Okay. Um, I see them as, uh, People who are spreading more uh, word about the benefits of uh, cloud computing, okay. data center outsourcing, infrastructure as service. With their entry, the market size probably would have doubled or tripled, mm. uh, number one. Number two, our services have always been 
cut apart from the rest of the players. Right. We right. created our own niche mm. with, the, with the tier four, mm. with the tier four cloud, with the, with our differentiated offerings, which are backed up by automation led shared services model. Okay. okay. So the the customers who see the, who come to us see this value proposition and come to us. We do not see a competition in that space that we we operate. Anybody who wants um, ninety nine point nine nine five of time will come to us. Anybody who wants a tier four cloud will come to us. There is no other alternatives, okay. or the alternatives are not um, as easy or as cost effective as that we provide. Well, I'm in conversation with Sridhar Reddy of Control S here on Center Stage. It's time for a very short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're watching Center Stage on CNBC TV 18, and I'm in conversation with Sridhar Reddy of Control S. And so the government has made a lot of these new initiatives of theirs, which is the Digital India Initiative, the <coughs> Make in India Initiative. Uh, what is your thought on how these will um, affect the cloud industry in India? How is it affecting uh, Control S, Control 4C? Uh, so far, not much, okay. uh, because the government business is hardly a fraction of what we do. Uh, but I see a huge potential going forward. Uh, especially with uh, the smart cities yeah. and uh, you know the the Internet of Things and Internet smart of cities. Things yeah. and uh, I see I see uh, all of those uh, initiatives um, throw up a huge amount of data, mm. petabytes petabytes of data, mm. and uh, they all need data centers. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Job. So Sridhar, just before we close the show, I want to ask you, what are your future plans? You are already uh, Asia's largest tier 4 data center. I believe you are the world's first tier 4 public cloud. What's the way ahead? Uh, it's very simple. Uh, one is geographical expansion and uh, second is uh, new products and services within Control S. And the third is cloud uh, Control 4C expansion plans. Uh, Control S is going to open data centers uh, by next year on all major cities. Mm -hmm. uh, bank construction started in Bangalore. That's the only one which is left out, mm -hmm. uh, which will be operational by next year. And uh, we follow it up with uh, eight more data centers in uh, smaller cities, uh, the tier two cities of India. That will be completed in the next uh, three years. And uh, new product lines. We have launched a CDN security services this year, mm -hmm. and we are we are working on many more exciting. Uh, products uh, and services for our existing and future prospects. So constantly innovating and initiating yes. change. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you, Sridhar, and here's wishing you all the very best for the way ahead. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, that's all on this episode of Center Stage on CNBC TV 18, but do catch us next time as we meet another inspiring entrepreneur. Until then, from the entire team, many thanks for watching. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.